an immigrant with a little bit of hope Got a little bit of money and hopped on a boat I've had enough, my old life was too tough Getting roughed up by the government and stuff We call that oppressive, arrested for no reason The police would beat me for speaking my opinion And on top of that, no freedom of religion This life I've been living, something's got to give in Desire for adventure and better jobs This hip hop immigration baby, I can never stop that's why I'm selling on the ship to a better place I don't care where, to New York or to outer space That's when the boat stop, top off at Ellis Island Let's go back, man you island. My new life was looking bright I just might be an immigrant But it's my life, alright I'm just an immigrant living in a tenement Pay no attention to this place that I'm living in I'm just an immigrant living in the ghetto With no overcrowded neighborhood in New York Let's go I'm just an immigrant trying to get a new start I'm just an immigrant trying to have my own job I'm just an immigrant trying to have my own God I'm just an immigrant I'm just an immigrant This life isn't all that it was cut out to be It's overcrowded plus I'm working in this factory Like 88 hours a week But at least I got food to eat and shoes on my feet And Mrs. Jane is looking out for my people She built the whole house, she's on point like a needle But evil, political machines Filled our heads with dreams Just so they could get their own things And Chinese and Irish immigrants were discriminated against From work all the way to the tenements But stop the hating, we kinda built this nation Today there's a chance that me and you are related So when you're walking through the halls or the malls Take a pause, throw your hands up and support my cause Uh, You see me ripping it, laid back kicking it but I'm just an immigrant in a tenement I'm just an immigrant living in a tenement Pay no attention to this place that I'm living in I'm just an immigrant living in the ghetto With no overcrowded neighborhood in New York Let's go I'm just an immigrant trying to get a new start I'm just an immigrant trying to have my own job I'm just an immigrant trying to have my own God I'm just an immigrant I'm just an immigrant I'm just an immigrant living in a tenement Pay no attention to this place that I'm living in I'm just an immigrant living in the ghetto With no overcrowded neighborhood in New York Let's go I'm just an immigrant trying to get a new start I'm just an immigrant trying to have my own job I'm just an immigrant trying to have my own God I'm just an immigrant I'm just an immigrant Newsflash! Humans are migrating en masse Many in search of work in better circumstance Many more displaced by wars and massacres Predatory trade pacts, ethnic clashes, historical fractures, climate change impacts Some call them refugees, others illegal immigrants Whatever the label, there are more displaced people today than ever in history Collectively they form one of the world's largest nations A flagless country of tens of millions Half of them children So how is the world handling this crisis today? Surely the wisest, richest societies are responding in enlightened ways We now invite three guests from such countries First up, business magnate, presidential candidate Donald Trump My fellow Americans Our great nations become a racking dump Thanks to the communist Obama chump Our southern border is an open door for any Juan to come Illegals are pouring through the country Scooping all the dollars up 12 million undocumented aliens There's 4% of us And 6 million are Mexicans I'm told they're all drug dealers Rapists and criminals And hundreds are working in my Trump hotel businesses I just don't get it After all we've given them We signed NAFTA Which trashed their economic system Put them out of work And raised the price of tortillas But despite our efforts we can't seem to satisfy those taco munching peasants. Uh, let's bring in Katie Hopkins, a tabloid paper columnist. What's your take on immigrants? It's the day of apocalypse, and the EU is doing nothing to stop loads of unwashed droves from crossing over the ocean like cockroaches. They get on wobbly boats and drown if we're lucky. Then the survivors arrive on Greek islands and head for this fine country, Great Britain, the 
whitened, I mean United Kingdom, where they swamp our local culture and welfare system. Feral migrants, spreading like the norovirus. We've had to put up miles of fences to stop the tide of outsiders. With jihadi names, weird clothes and cruel customs, they're robbing us of our own country. Truly disgusting. Uh, next up then, Australia's Prime Minister Tony Abbott. Sounds like a bad, a bad problem you have there, but we don't have it. We've solved it. You, you have? have? Of course, we have all sorts of desperate people trying to get to our shores, but we got it all sorted. How? Well, tell us. We took this bloody UN refugee convention and chucked it in the dunny. To all asylum seekers, we shut our borders. We turn their boats back mid-voyage or bribe people smugglers to do it for us. And if anyone slips through to our shores after all that, we lock them up in concentration. I mean detention camps on remote islands like Manus and Nauru. For how long? Indefinitely. Heinous. True. Genius. Definitely. How do you get away with this? It's easy as killing the ABC when both major parties are vying for the cruelest policy on refugees. And you ban anyone reporting on the camps and what goes down inside? Even rape and child abuse. Out of sight, out of mind. Tony, when I'm president in these parts, I'm gonna make you head of immigration. You're hired. To guard our border, we'll erect a huge rampart. And you know, when it comes to building walls, I got it down to a damn art. Aussies, you're a shining beacon of vicious cruelty. If you can do it, by jingo, so can we. Quick go, send our gunships and British Navy. Blow those sweaty Syrians straight out of the flipping grey sea. Ripley, Katie, glad to be an inspiration. Well, it's great to see such close collaboration between nations, but is it ethical? Let's pose that question to Mr. Moonseed from the NGO. Real humans say welcome. Greetings, xenophobic pundits. My preaching from the pulpit today shall focus on the gleeful topic of oneness. Different cultures can bring new and positive customs. Great food, music, yoga, hot people, a melting pot of abundance. We need to open our borders and receive the magic. Let people roam the globe, choose love, not fear and panic. Unless, of course, they're trying to migrate to Atlantis, which is reserved for me, the highest race on the planet. Multiculturalism means the death of our fragile white race. They're trying to wipe us out without a trace. Only white countries are forced to mix with other ethnic types. Dead right. If we get lex on immigrants, it'll be white, white genocide. Genocide? That's an interesting choice of expression. Didn't you yourselves migrate to the countries you now live in and push the locals out of their homes imposing your own language, laws and culture across their homelands? Exactly. You saw how that went for Native Americans and for Aborigines. We are living proof of the danger of immigrants. They'll steal the land we stole. Invade our barbecue areas. I'd rather leave than witness this. Don't try to come to Atlantis, you barbarians! How's it, my Chinas? Let's call an intermission. I've been listening in and it seems like it's time for one of my blixem interjections. Bilderberg from the New World Order. Ach, no introductions. I'm pleased to see that you're focusing your anxieties on the hordes of poor people trying to flee to your borders and shores, seeking sanctuary from scarcity, wars and eco-catastrophes, rather than focusing on these migrants who cross all borders and will, overriding the laws of your countries, wreaking havoc, destroying thousands of local jobs and paying no taxes. Corporations. Corporations are people too with special needs. Right now, while you scream about migrants and the refugees, you're about to see the signing of three giant corporate treaties. The TTIP, TISA and TPP. Free trade agreements. Indeed. So free that they're being negotiated in secret. The only details we've seen are thanks to these drafts leaked by whistleblowers and published by WikiLeaks. Worried about migrants affecting the economy when they barge in? Wait till you see these trade packs annihilate the job market, slash wages and leave collective bargaining rights discarded. Worried about your sovereign laws? These treaties will override them so foreign companies can make you a lawsuit target if your country ever threatens their potential margins. Worried about guarding your culture from outsiders? These treaties will extend copyright terms for decades after, siphoning knowledge out of the public domain and robbing you of your collective culture and scientific gain and the spoils from all this plundering will be taken, not by local populations but by foreign corporations. We welcome that kind of immigrant here. Here too. We give them visas and let them leave the queue. Ah, my faithful I knew we could count on your commitment. Whoever said your immigration policies lacked compassion and wisdom. Thanks to our guests for engaging in this conversation on the contentious issue of migrations on the planet. Mass exoduses like the ones we're witnessing cause real problems and tensions. There's no question. But as we've discovered, when it comes to managing borders and cultural habitats, these migrations are just one part of a larger pattern. Yet this is the part we're told to fear and fret about. Why does that happen? By now we should have gathered this, when politics, lobbyists, business and media machinate to divert, scramble and mangle our view of the world we're inhabiting, we'd be wise to ask ourselves, whose interest does this skewed perception actually benefit? Someday historians will look back and label this the age of mass displacements and assess how we handled it. Will they condemn our blindness or celebrate our vision and humanity? That's up to us in the present, where history is happening.